In Sungai Limau Kedah, more than 12,000 voters are celebrating the election of Muhammad Azam Samat as state assemblyman. Passes Azam beat BN's Ahmad Sahaimi Lazim in the by-election with a majority of 1,084 votes in the constituency of 27,222 voters. The win is not the first for pass in this constituency as the seat was held for five terms by the late former Menteri Besar Azizan Abdul Razak. While PAS managed to retain its stronghold this time, it did so with a slashed majority compared to GE13, losing 1,690 votes. Among other factors, PAS Vice President Mahfuz Omar blamed this on having the by-election on a weekday, something the Election Commission said it couldn't have avoided as it had to work around religious festivals as well as the SPM examination. Kami sendiri mempunyai 3,666 pengundi yang duduk di luar daripada kawasan pilihan raya yang hanya berpeluang balik hanya 2,319 di situ sahaja PAS telah kehilangan 1,000 lebih pengundi yang sepatutnya bersama dengan dengan kita kerana faktor hari, hari bekerja mereka berada di Sabah, di Sarawak mereka berada di apa nama, Lembah Kelang, di Perak dan juga di Pulau Pinang dan di hujung negeri Kedah dan sebahagian daripada pengundi yang memang tinggal di sini Tetapi bekerja di Sungai Petani Berulang Alik, bekerja di, di apa nama, Kulim, bekerja di Pulau Pinang pun tidak berpeluang kerana faktor hari bekerja. Dijemput calon atau wakil calon daripada Parti Barisan Nasional ke Daripan. Terima kasih. Neither BN's candidate nor party leaders were present to concede defeat. But elsewhere, they gave their take on the results. BN feels, weekday or not, the party would have still weakened Pasa's grip on Sungai Limau. The results indicate this could be the case, with BN compromising not only Pasa's majority overall, but also in areas considered Pasa's fixed deposits. BN attributes this success to voters seeing its sincerity when they promise to deliver progress throughout the constituency. But PAS insists its support base remains largely loyal, though perhaps slightly swayed by what PAS leaders are calling BN's dirty tactics, such as alleged vote buying and throwing money at development projects. At PAS's victory rally in Sungai Limau, some voters also shared this view. Kalau ikut tu dengan kawan-kawan daripada BN pun depa pun kata berat sikit depa nak menang. Sebab tu sebab depa bagi pun macam-macam kan. Mula tu takut juga. But at the rally where thousands showed up, PAS chose to focus on the positives. Tapi apapun bagi saya saya bersyukur kepada Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala atas kemenangan ini, atas kejayaan ini. Saya anggap bahawa ini adalah satu anugerah Allah kepada kita di tahun di tahun baru ini dan kita akan memulakan langkah yang baik, langkah yang untuk Tonight, PAS and its supporters celebrate. But there's no denying that the next few years till the general election will involve a lot of hard work to regain its lost majority. From Sungai Limau, this is Samisha Naidu for Kini TV.